Hello and welcome to Only in Illinois, your weekly recap from Reboot Illinois. I'm Madeline Dubeck here with Matt Dietrich and we are days away from a primary uh, on Tuesday, March 15th, depending on when you're tuning in. And uh, lots of presidential activity and that is of course the right. hot race in Illinois and across the nation. Uh, lots of polling going on in the last couple of weeks, Matt, yeah. with some somewhat surprising results well, for yeah. Illinois. Right. You know, everybody all along has talked about Illinois being the home of moderate Republicans. We elected Mark Kirk. He's one of the most moderate Republicans in the Senate. And uh, so the thought was maybe Illinois would be the place where Donald Trump hits the wall and starts to recede as a candidate and the others come forward. But the polls have not shown that. We've had three polls recently. They've all had Donald Trump in the lead. Right. Um, and not just by a point or two, but very solidly in the lead. Uh, the most recent came this week was the Chicago Tribune poll. Had Donald Trump 32% uh, ahead of Ted Cruz with 22 and Marco Rubio had 21, and John Kasich had 18. Um, and the, the Trump lead holds true for city of Chicago, suburbs, and downstate. So it's not like these results are being skewed by a lot of suburban Republicans or downstaters going for Trump. Mm -hmm. It's all across the board. And this is not something that anyone expected. And I have to say, back in the fall, uh, Donald Trump's first big appearance in Illinois. Uh, he was down in my hometown in Springfield right. and he packed the Prairie Capital Convention Center. Which holds about how many people? About 10,000 people. And it was a raucous crowd. This was at a time when I think most everybody was still thinking that Trump was kind of a fad. Uh -huh. uh, that he's a reality TV star. People are attracted to his celebrity. He'll have a run and then he'll recede and then the more quote unquote serious candidates will come to the front. And That's it was, never that, happened. That visit was pretty short notice if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. It was announced on one day and then it was held just a day or two later. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right because I remember getting the notice and then there was a scramble to get free tickets for it. Right. Um, and we have some video of it on the website. Uh, but it's, it's done nothing but build since then. And now he's winning all over the place in, in these primaries, and he's also leading in almost all the polls that we see. And he's coming to the University of Illinois Chicago Pavilion on Friday. Uh, protests are already planned. I'm sure, though, right. that there's a big crowd that's, that's also planned. This is not something that anybody expected. Like I said, everyone kind of assumed that Illinois was going to be the state where the nation gets its head together again, the Republicans go forward. Right, we used to be a bellwether state for many mm -hmm. years, but that was a couple of decades ago. We haven't been one so much lately well, in it, presidential it, politics. But also this year, for once, we're relevant in the primary. Right. Uh, we have not been a factor in the primary very often that I can remember in recent elections. So that would, um, suggest that people are gonna get out and vote if they're aware yeah. of that, and hopefully they are. <laughs> but but we're always a little, um, put a little asterisk by primary polls, right? Yeah, they're, they're unpredictable. And if you remember in the 2014 Republican primary for governor, um, Bruce Rauner was supposed to run away with the Re Republican nomination right. according to polling, and lo and behold, he barely it out. made it through. And that was because you had a lot of Democrats taking Republican ballots. But it's very unpredictable. The numbers are very, very low in the 20s for turnout for primaries in mm -hmm. Illinois usually. And so uh, you talked about the Springfield event with Donald Trump also in Illinois this week uh, has been Ted Cruz, mm -hmm. his wife Heidi appeared at the City Club of Chicago. Right. Uh, Kasich was out it, at a high school in Palatine yesterday and packed that place, mm -hmm. uh, standing room only. Right. So we had Bill Clinton. Who, uh, Bill Clinton and, and Hillary is coming tonight, mm -hmm. uh, Thursday, as we record this. Right. And Bernie Sanders has already been here once. He was at on the, the Chicago, Chicago State. He's been University. here a couple of times. He was on the Chicago State campus. Right. He went to SIU Edwardsville, 
uh, to highlight our troubles that we're having with higher education funding now. So Illinois is really, I mean, Hot. for once, we're a battleground in the primary. So the polling shows Hillary is uh, is going to do well in her home Hillary, state. Hillary is doing much better than Donald Trump has been in the poll. In the Tribune poll, anyway, we have Bernie Sanders at 25 percent and Hillary Clinton at 67 percent. Um, in a Paul Simon Institute poll that was done, it was done a month ago, so things have changed since then. But even then, it was Hillary Clinton 51 percent, Bernie Sanders 33 percent. Um, we Ask America was another poll, and there again you had Hillary Clinton 57 percent, Bernie Sanders 28 percent, and um, in We Ask America again you have Donald Trump at 38 percent, and the next closest is Marco Rubio at 21 percent. So uh, Trump isn't winning in any of these outright, but he's getting pretty significant pluralities yeah. and racking up a lot of delegates. So the thing about primaries that make them very difficult and harder to poll is because a lot of people will tell you they're going to vote, right? Um, but then they don't like the idea, particularly in Illinois, of having to ask for one party yeah. or the other's ballot when they when they go to vote. It's, right. We don't have so an open primary. So a lot primary. of people say they're going to vote and tell pollsters they're going to vote, but then they don't actually turn up. Mm -hmm. And, and you so know, that's why you see these things like ha what happened in Michigan right before mm -hmm. this where Hillary Clinton uh, lost she was supposed to, she when was she supposed was supposed to, win. to run away with yep. it. But yeah, in Illinois, we do not have an open primary. You have to go in and declare, I want a Democratic ballot, I want a Republican ballot, and anybody can check your voting after that. Now, uh, where I live in Springfield, even now, when it's not supposed to affect hiring in state government like it used to, right. That feeling still lingers. Like you know, if you can stay out of it, stay out of it. If you have to do it for job security, you have to do it. Hmm. That you're just not going to get rid of that that specter that someone's looking over my shoulder and seeing how I vote. A lot of people don't like to declare themselves as Democrats or Republicans. Right. Right. Um, so we'll see if the polls hold true next week. But in the meantime, we certainly hope you'll vote because we wouldn't want you to give that right, privilege, and power up to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And so there's also obviously uh, primaries for the Democratic and Republican Senate nominations in Illinois. Mark Kirk is seeking re-election. Uh, he's got an opponent in James Martyr, and there are three Democrats vying to take him on in the November general election, and they are Congresswoman Tammy Duckworth, Chicago Urban League former executive director Andrea Zopp, and State Senator Napoleon Harris. And we have put together for you side-by-side -side issue scorecards on the race. If you need a quick look at the differences on them, we've got about 11 or so issues where you can see exactly where the candidates stand mm -hmm. in their own words and then a synopsis of, of all those different topics. So it's a great tool to help you make your mind up. And you can find that Probably the easiest way is to go up to the search box at the top of our homepage right. and type in Senate in that box and you'll see them. You'll find them in the search that way. Mm -hmm. and the Democratic U.S. Senate primary is going to be one of the most watched all across the country because um, everyone wants to see who's going to take on Mark Kirk. The Democrats are really eager to gain some ground back in the Senate. and That race in particular is uh, a... Uh, tier one race, as they say. All right. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for listening. We'll see you on the next edition of Only in Illinois.